Oh, welcome back to my Enchanted Arms playthrough. I have no idea what number it is. Um, so, yeah, I got that going for me. What I do did notice was there's a window just a fair bit above Azuma's head. And I have no idea why it's there. <laughs> it's just such an odd place to put a window. But today we're going to go through and we're finally going to go and see Coda, the dog. Uh, I've sort of been talking about it for the past few episodes and I wouldn't say I'm hyping it up but it's a case of I've mentioned it a few times oh. and it ends up being a really really cool boss battle with Coda and I'm hoping to get maybe a little bit past that today new enemies oh, mage guardian the weak is shite um, oh man, that is so disappointing. Stampede, that should be it. Oh wow. Well. Kick ass, kick ass. So by now it's probably pretty obvious. The best thing to do is just kill um, uh, enemies, not necessarily like one at a time. Well, and one at a time is the best way to do it. Damn the Sanji. Um Making so that they you don't have to to um, fight. Uh, Let's do this quick. Um, against multiple foes, because that's the the real reason you end up dying. Oh, that's dead. Um, that's a shame. 220. Um, if that's the case, I must just use Slash. Or... Eye Blade, actually. Eye Blade. Blade. It's a little irritating when you can't sort of kill everything on the first turn, but... I see. It happens. Blood energy. That's not too bad. Definitely dead with slash. Um, oh, you're both dead with the water move from Kryn anyway, so. It's definitely a, a pretty big theme in this game of glowing lights. Um, I don't actually know if I need to go up the stairs. Or I need to go... No, I do think I need to go up the stairs. I don't think there's anywhere else to go. Tower corridor. Library. They're actually... That's a nice little touch on the, the doors. They're all buckled. In some way or shape. They ripped apart. Oh, damn. It's something that Toy mentioned back in one of the earlier episodes but that Atsuma's been led, for lack of better words. I wonder if it's the same case here, he was drawn back to this place. that much time in the library. I, I, yeah, I don't like books much, but I bet Professor Ko would know. Professor Ko? He was our tutor. Toya's and mine. But he was also head of the library and the research facilities. Oh. I've heard that name somewhere before. It can't be the same, man. How would anyone in London City know Professor Ko? Anyway, forget that. Let's go after Koda, okay? 
Okay. I do know there is treasure hidden in this place. I don't know how much though. Wait a second. Legends of Great Ma Legend of Great Magicians, the stages, sages that led the Golem War to its conclusion. Though long dead, their bloodline surely continues to this day. However, their fast knowledge has led them off the path of material gain. Many theories exist, and few know the true location of the last of their line. Hmm. Uh, maybe I should read this book as well. Ah, uh, nope. It's just a list, list of books. Oh, the camera angle. It's Coda! He's close! It's a lot of pesky ladder. That's one thing, you can't change the a camera angle when you're climbing ladders. Um. Hey, look at that. Kick ass. Absolutely kick ass. I'm guessing you meant to go down to the next one, but. I have no idea what that is. I think it might be a... is it a slip now or... I will find out in a second. Yeah, sleep now. Earth element. Hmm. Actually, I should probably check what that moves are. So, Earth Energy, Range, Range, Body Attack. That's not too bad, they're not super strong. Um, I don't think you're going to see any action this much. Probably should have used Phoenix. But I don't think they're gonna do that much damage to me, so. What have we got? Poison Mist. We're just gonna have to use Wave, aren't you? Do you know what? We're gonna go High Charge, even though it probably isn't the smartest move. Um. HP drain, stuff it, we'll do that. And high blade. Haha, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Body attack. That's a little irritating. Um. That's funny. You get to go on standby. Slash. It's not gonna do enough. My blood is gonna be an to kill. You're not gonna die. Oh. Well, poison missed the back line then. Side. Yeah, not that much damage. This has not been too difficult, honestly. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. It wasn't too bad, honestly. I mean, I got wrecked for VP, but I sort of expected that. Sleep no core. I wonder what else we're going to find in here. Ah, come on, ladder. I believe in you. Hmm. 
Yeah, treasure. Uh, now I feel silly because I feel like that wasn't the way to go either. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's get back up the ladder and see where we need to go. What's going on here? Um, huh. I doubt I can move that way. Damn, now I feel particularly silly for not knowing where to go. Actually, why not? We'll just try that again. Um. Oh, why not? Go exploring. something like this. Nah, honestly, I had no idea. No idea at all. Oh. I'll go back and read that book in a second. Yeah, look at this. Where could this magic circle lead to? This is all a little too suspicious for me. Oh, that, what? Nothing. Nothing? It looks like something to me. Same old, same old. When a devil golem is nearby, my arm reacts. I I'm not sure why. When a devil golem is nearby? So that means... Yeah, she's in there. I see. Look, I said it before, but you don't have to come with me, okay? You're kidding. She's strong. I've seen it. It's possible none of us could come back alive. You think I'm going to turn around and go back after coming all this way? Rygar, what about you? My place is by Lady Corrine's side. Well, okay, then let's get going. Magic circle, eh? Magic lamp trans magic lab transporter block. We've come out in a pretty strange place. Just where are we? I don't know. From the look of these walls, I'd say this place was built using the latest enchant techniques. So you're saying it's all new? It certainly wasn't built in ancient times. I don't care where we are. Let's take a look around. If the Queen of Ice is here, then Toya must be too. Hmm. Interesting. That's a really, really strange door. Nope, just straight. Oh. It's a, uh, it's... It's, it's really, really hard to justify designs like these. Because usually you want a design to express something or showcase something. But when a person doesn't understand why, say, these hallways look the way they do, it's sort of, it begs questions, why would you design like that? Ah, that is cool. On, I think that's the Ripper. Rat the Ripper and Night Grenadier. That's awesome. Uh, how much health does it have? 
204. Oh man, that is so dark, Sabertooth. Um, Slash is very strong. I'm not getting a hold of. Actually, you know what? I've changed my mind. I just can't hit too many enemies this way. Way too many enemies. Should be able to take out at least three of them. Well, or at least I hope we can. Two of them. Two of them's good. Probably could have used Stampede instead of Hard Blow. Ah. Mm. Push it back. Pause it next. Oh, no, it's not affected by poison. Cool. No link shot. That is irritating. 47. Awesome. Awesome. I mean, I don't really rely on the combo, but it's always nice to have it. These are nice pitches and all, but I feel as if it's a really, really uh, map. Well, it's a pretty big place, some kind of facility. Mm. I sort of wish that they, they would actually like. I mean, yeah, it's just a map, but I mean, does it really look the same as the map we're following? I might, it might, but Ooh. treasure. You know what that means. If there's a safe point in a shop and some treasure, you know there's a boss coming up. There's no other way to put it. Ha <laughs> ha, man. Oh, that's cool. So you got a existence. Yeah. Night Grenadier and NB Destroyer, eh? Um, I'm not sure that I'm actually even going to kill one. That might not be the best thing. Okay, I am going to kill this one. Gravity breath. Burst. That's not too bad. That'll win it. Oh. Unless this game suddenly makes evasion possible. Uh, that's definitely got it. <laughs> oh, I really like Saber Tiger. He does kick ass. What we got? High Power XL, okay. What's High Power XL? Support. Nope. Skill. Boost its own parameters by 50%. Um. Um. Mm, you know what? I'll equip it just because I can. I probably won't use it, but. Um, Saber Target is definitely good for the upcoming boss. Uh, that's for sure. My core material. I know I can still synthesize Spooky Champ. I'm tempted to do it just so I don't have to see it. Mm. Uh, it does look a bit like um, Corinne's gauntlet, actually. Yeah, that's not.
Whoa, where are we now? These samples, they're all arms, aren't they? Yeah, they all look like my arm. I have no idea how you can tell that, honestly. What's going on here? Well, well, so you're still alive. Who's there? You've got the devil's luck. Or perhaps we have your arm to thank? You! Professor Ko? <laughs> Hello again, Atsuma. I'm glad to see you looking so well. I truly am. I mean, you've saved me from having to hunt down your arm. My arm? Just what do you want with my arm? Why are you even here? Why? <laughs> you ask why? Huh? Very well. I'll give you a final lecture. Professor? My goal is to perfect magic, revive old technology, and bring it into this new age. I needed two things to accomplish this. First, the Devil Golem sealed away in Yokohama City. That's right. The Queen of Ice. What? But as I'm sure you're aware, reviving her was not as easy as you might think. It was a real struggle, in fact. Because to resurrect a Devil Golem, resonance with something equal in power to its magic core is required. Resonance? You don't mean me? Well done! And you were always so slow in class. The key to her awakening was your right arm. <gasps> so it was my fault she awoke? Regrets are pointless now. Consider all the people you have killed. I didn't! I didn't kill anyone! <laughs> so you still don't have your memory back. What did I do? Tell me, Professor. Let me ask one thing. Are you the one who caused the Yokohama City Golems to go berserk as well? Indeed I am. I started the Golem Riot, all to force Atsuma into a corner and awaken the power of his right arm. You made the Golems attack the city? How could you? <laughs> the ideas of the weak are always so rooted in old-fashioned moralities. How dare you? I'm talking about the revival of magic, the mightiest power ever. For the sake of this magnificent goal, some sacrifices should be more than acceptable. All the students in your precious school were nothing more than lab rats to me. The most talented lab rats the world had to offer, granted. Enough! You don't value human life at all, do you? This is rich. A deadly weapon seeks to lecture me on the value of life. A weapon? What do you mean? I'm human! I'm human. Oh, you poor fool. <laughs> I know full well that you are nothing but a weapon, as I'm sure that young lady right there can attest. That's it. Dr. Ko, I knew I'd heard the name before. You were there at the demonstration. Demonstration? Yes, dear Atsuma. You performed a wonderful demonstration for us. Total slaughter. Remember? Remember now? What you did to her? I... did something to Kareen? I did?
<sighs> hey, are you okay? Kareen, Kareen, I remember what I, what I did. Your memory has returned. I, I, I'm sorry. Let me punch you. <sighs> when this is all over, let me punch you, okay? Then I'll call us even. We'll be even? After one punch? Yep, that's good enough for me. Thank you. You don't have to thank me for promising to punch you, okay? I'm gonna hit you so hard, Atsuma. Hey? What now? You just got my name right for the first time. I did? Well, well, this is most interesting. Your memory has returned, yet you still think you are human. We've got someone else to beat up before I get around to you, Atsuma. Correct, my lady. Atsuma, I must admit I'm happy to see how human you've become. Very happy. Koda? So, I wonder how the human in you will react when he sees this mutate. Hound, I wonder. Play nice now. <laughs> Villain. He's not the dog you knew, Atsuma. We've got to fight. This is actually a pretty cool boss, I have to admit. Um, oh, that's actually really shitty. I don't think you're living, little one. Uh, high charge, bring you back. Um, hmm. I wonder how I want to do this. Start off with slash or high earth power, high earth power. I wonder where the heel is, which directions. It's forward and to the side. So if I bring you back, high charge it, you use HP drain and you use the heel. Yeah, I think that'll. I mean, in saying that, Coda's still gonna get ruined. Not Coda, uh, Saber Target's still gonna get ruined. So, had a sneaking suspicion. The other moves are nowhere near as strong, so it might be in my best interest to, for back, lack of better words, move backwards. I'm not going to do as much damage, but I can definitely take significantly more. It's darkness, isn't it? Yeah, which means I don't have anything that can do any super large amount of damage. Except some of Phoenix. Water. Poison. Yeah. Alright, hell fang. That's alright. Oh, that's not alright. That's real bad. Use an item. Curing powder. Yeah, stop it. I'm alive again. Strike too bad. My health thing. 600 damage. Killer dance. Uh, you know what? I don't really want to take a massive amount of damage, and I'm actually doing a fair bit with um, the poison. Surprisingly. 
That's a shame. 27. Oh, yeah. Uh, what about Hoglade? Yeah. That wasn't too bad. I mean, it's a little disappointing in the original placement. But, uh, it could be much worse. Impressive. Atsuma, you're certainly strong-willed. But how about shedding the act? You're not human. You're a weapon. This guy is 100% evil, isn't he? As you say. Koda! Are you struggling to understand this, Atsuma? I'm telling you the truth. You are a weapon. Why do you suffer over the death of one insignificant little mongrel? Just an insignificant mongrel! Insignificant? Why, you? I'll never forgive you for this! Never! <laughs> Strong-willed to the last. Come on then, Atsuma. I've got something special prepared for you. <laughs> She kicked the wall, and all her moves are usually kicking. <laughs> and then she goes through her foot. foot. That's a bit <laughs> I'm going silly. To destroy her. Shut up! Just be quiet. I know. Just this once, I'll use. Let's send this right out with your car. Master DX stun bleed beat fair and server score. Range 20%. That's alright. That's Toya! You're alive! Huh. Toya? Atsuma, do you feel like dropping the act yet? Shut up! I'm human, not some weapon! You're wrong. You're not human, Atsuma. You never were. Toya! I'm in the perfect position now to truly understand the power of magic. This is fate. For both of us. What are you talking about, Toya? You should just accept it, Atsuma. Accept your fate. Toya, snap out of it! You don't even know what you're saying! Toya is a bright student. And quite unlike you, he seems to grasp the situation perfectly. With a little lecturing from me, he quickly comes around to my way of thinking. Lecturing? What have you done to him? Your little friend here has the blood of ancients in his veins. Queen of Ice! So I made him my magical. <laughs> what do you say, child? Will you lend him to me, perhaps? Toya isn't a possession! He isn't a thing! Lend? You're crazy! No, don't get so upset. I do so tire of the dopey ones. This is why you will always be at the bottom of the class, Atsuma. Look at Toya. Learn from him. You too! Just hold on, Toya. I'm gonna crush these two and save you, okay? Save me? <laughs> what? What's so funny, Toya? <laughs> Save me, you say. You really can't see what's right in front of you, can you? I'm glad to have become the Magicor for the Queen of Ice. I've never felt so complete, so satisfied in all my life. What? What are you talking about? I'm gonna save you, come on! And I'm telling you, I don't want it. When did I ask you to save me? You've come all the way here, 
And now you're trying to force me into being saved? You always have been hard-headed. And stupid, too. Toya! You! What have you done to him? <laughs> I'm going to smash you! I can't allow you to attack the Queen, Atsuma. What? If you want to defeat the Queen, you'll have to kill me first. Oh, Toya, my dear. What a lovely thing to say. What do you mean, Toya? Get out of the way! Out of the way, Toya! What are you praying at? Come on, Rygar, smash it! Even for me, this is no easy task, milady. Move aside. Huh? Who's there? I said, just move aside. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Quickly, go. I don't know who you are, but thank you. Come on, Rygar. As you say. <laughs> the human in you could never hurt Toya. I think it's time for you to leave the stage. I only need your right arm. There is no longer any reason for you to be attached to it. Now, die. Although perhaps that is the wrong verb, Mr. Human Weapon. Damn you! This is the end, Atsuma. The end for you! What? How did you get in here? That's my secret. It was very short-sighted of you to stall us with such a flimsy trap. Well, whatever. The outcome will be the same, no matter how many of you there are. Now, curse your own ignorance and prepare to die. Observe, Atsuma. I created this golem based on my research into your arm. <laughs> Fantastic, don't you agree? I impress myself. So just you be grateful. Grateful that such a creation, handcrafted by the magic genius Dr. Ko, will be the one that destroys you. <laughs> Atsuma, enjoy the taste of my greatest go golem creation. Die as you face your own in in inadequacy. So, how much damage? 300 or 2,500. So, if I had to guess, he's just going to keep reviving it. And so, the best thing for me to do is I should just poison the bad guy, even though I'm assuming he's going to be immune. Actually, it's probably better to up your parameters. Alright, Excel. Ooh, disappointed. It's alright. Uh, let's 
not too bad. Better to have... Actually... Oh yeah, stop it. Probably should have just killed um, the HP drain. Uh, yeah, that could be much worse. Hmm. Uh, I would love to. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that is so much damage. But you know what? I'm just gonna summon four. Yeah, I think I'll just wait and then summon Phoenix. I think that's the best option for me. That's the problem with um this bad guy. He just keeps summoning, and I really don't want to have to um. Oh, really? That is not really what I wanted to see. What else can you do? Protection, high barrier. That's not really amazing. It means he's not going down anywhere near as fast. Wave. Damn it. I'm thinking maybe it might have been wiser to change out Saber Target for something else. Damn it. I bet you Corinne's probably gonna get knocked out this time. Seems like something will happen. Seven call, eh? Um. Ugh. Does not look fun. That does not look fun at all. Level 10 is not really something I want to use. I also use Summon Phoenix to get rid of as many as possible. Oh. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Six axis. Recover. Good. Strike. Jump. Fire. Burn it up. That's not too bad. I bet you there's one unit that's only got like one HP. It had one HP before. Huh. How much HP does it have? Only halfway. That is a bit annoying. Oh well. Does it have... Yeah, only he has the damage reduction. Poison missed. I really want to use some of Phoenix. Uh, Slash. You know what? I'm going to change to Hyper Excel. Oh, really? Yeah, that's alright. That should be drain. Then it's gonna summon the things. Oh, oh. Huh. So I actually need to do a lot of damage. One. You know what? Why not? Just try a wave. Slash. Thing, so I 
won't make you. Just stand by. Damn. Here we go. Oh, really? Take this. Worthless scum. Stupid, so because things would be a lot easier if Dr. Co had got that uh, damage reduction off. That's only three. Mm. Things would be much easier. Slash. Actually, what I think I might do is put you on standby. Um, cure dance you. And move you for another Phoenix. I think that might be the best option. Yeah. That'll just be the best option. That's alright. I'd like to use the stronger move, but it just happens to be a case of 50 damage. That is irritating. I'm just going to use Phoenix again. Damn, this is actually quite a long boss fight. Uh, that did, didn't have that debuff. Well, that actual buff, and I could actually debuff. 600 damage. Damn it. It actually might be worth me using Phoenix again, actually. Just so that I can get my um thing back my EP back sixteen percent that's all I really need. I only needed I think eleven or twelve for that. It's a shame they didn't make it so you couldn't just press X rapidly. Oh, 
Oh, maybe I did need a little bit more. Okay, that's awesome. 500 to go. Um, poison mist. Not enough. Three turns, but then I'm gonna lose HP in the process. Might be better off just killing these guys. Actually, uh, yeah, that's one thing I'm not sure how I feel about in this game is the duration of the buffs are permanent until you die. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. Girl, you have me cornered, it seems, but it's Suma. What a fine specimen you are to really shut up. I'm going to smash that mouth of yours right now. 380. Yeah, unfortunately that'll just have to do. Seven core costs nothing. Well, I guess that means I get a free sack on his life. Damn, that's a little irritating. Strike! Here we go. Okay. I think it might be my best interest to actually just kill him this time instead of. Back in the minion, which is something I can actually do. Yeah, and that is it. A bit irritating, but that's just the way it is. It took way too many turns. Very happy indeed. You aren't even fully awakened, yet look at all that power. Uh. Amazing. Truly, truly amazing. But still, it is time for you to die. You have done so very well. Be proud of that fact as you die. Now kill him, Queen of Ice!
which means I need bait to reel you in. <laughs> what a joke! I was the bait all along, was I? Correct. How does it feel to suddenly understand your own world? You have regrets now, I'm sure. But too late. Well then, as for you, I must acknowledge the power of your arm. But I think it's still too soon for you to be fighting me. I'm letting you go. You're letting me go? Who gave you control? Give Toya back first, you frosty old hag! You've got strength enough to use that sharp tongue. Do you really think you can beat me? I can, and I will! <laughs> Such self-belief. <laughs> but you'll have your chance another time. I'll take this darling with me until then. Come now, my sweet child. Let us be going. Stop! Don't touch him! Professor Ko. Ha! <laughs> Laugh at me now, would you? No. I want to know why you did all this. I already told you. I wanted to revive the technology from the Golem War. And so you used me? Like some kind of tool? That's right. You were nothing more than a useful experiment to me. Professor Ko, tell me. What am I? Why do I have this right arm? That's the heart of the matter. I doubt there is anyone who knows how your right arm came to be. I received orders to study you from the highest ranks in the military. That's all I know. The military wanted to research me? We still don't know where the arm came from, but it's made from ancient technology. Ancient technology? I gathered some cell samples from your arm and ran tests on them. The results were fascinating. That arm of yours was created from the core cells of a devil golem. What? His right arm is made from a devil golem? That's right. Which makes it the same as a devil golem. In fact, it could be a devil golem in its own right. That's impossible! Impossible! My right arm? A devil golem? My research is impeccable. I don't make mistakes. You've proven it anyway, haven't you? That arm's power to slaughter anything in its path. We've all witnessed it. The very definition of irony. Your arm simply proved too powerful. So further investigations into it were eventually prohibited. <laughs> But I'm not one to obey the edicts of the military. I'm no bootlicker. Those poor fools. They wanted to send the greatest sample we ever had to school. Did they think I'd allow such a thing? As a scientist, I must admit, I'll never forget that sight. An entire elite military unit reduced to ashes in an instant by the power of your arm. I... I did that? Oh, yes. It has taken you this long to remember, but that's to be expected. After each rampage, I carefully sealed them away, after all. Those memories. You... sealed away my memories? The military were scared. If you found out what you were capable of, you might deny them the use of your arm. Or worse still, Take your own life. Just what... What does the military think I am? Another stupid question. A weapon, of course. I'm not a weapon. I'm... I'm human. If so, why were you able to break that seal? A seal that can only be broken by resonance with another devil golem. That resonance led you, didn't it? <sighs> The very fact that you are here is proof that you are not human. 
Am I wrong? Yes! I'm human! Deny your fate all you like. Flee from it. That power will one day find release. I had so wanted to see that day for myself. The end of the world. Or the beginning of it. Either way, that would have been a most gratifying thing to see. <laughs> Professor Ko is dead. Wait! What's this? Ah! What's going on? This man's death has apparently triggered the destruction of this facility. What? We must get out of here, my lady. You don't have to tell me twice. Come on! Hey, Atsuma! What are you doing? I can't move. Don't want to. What? Look around! Snap out of it! I must have killed so many people with this arm. Toy said he doesn't want to be saved. What reason do I have to live? What kind of self-pitying nonsense is that? Green! If you want to die, then go on! Die! But you're making a big mistake if you think it'll absolve you. Green! You can't die here anyway. We need that arm of yours. You can die all you like once you finish the part you must play, okay? <laughs> So you just think of me as a weapon, too? I'm just worthless. Stupid. All anyone wants is this. This thing. This appendage. Idiot! Is that all you think of me? Really? This place won't hold much longer. Quickly, get out of here. You again? Our thanks. Hi, Gar. We have to get out of here. Quickly, run! Yes, okay. Thank you again. Just who are you? You need not thank me. Now, escape. We made it out. Somehow. Thank you for your help. Please, tell us who you are. Next is the Emperor of Fire. What? Farewell. Hey, wait, what do you mean? He's gone. Just who is that guy? Atsuma, any ideas? Atsuma? Well, a promise is a promise. Time for you to help us with our operation. Don't try and worm your way out of it. I'll put you on a leash if I have to. Are you even listening to me? Okay, Atsuma. Keeping one's word is an important human virtue. If you're really human, you'll fulfill your promise to me. I'm not human, am I? I'm a weapon. A golem. You're an idiot, certainly. I don't know about you, but I've never seen a golem cry. I... We're leaving. Toya, my dear, don't you think humans are so wonderfully foolish? Yes, my queen. But you, you have given up humanity to become my partner. You are now a vital piece of me. Isn't that an honor? Yes, my queen. <laughs> if you continue to devote yourself to me, then we shall continue to grow strong. Our bond will strengthen and deepen until finally we shall become one. Does that make you happy? Yes, my queen. So please, stop asking that boy to kill you. It's selfish, okay? Yes, my queen. No one is going to come between us. Until the preparations for the party are complete, we need your little friend and his arm right where we are.
Ah, Toya. Please take a seat. Professor, you said you needed to talk to me? Concerning your parental authority, yes. What about it? I met with your parents. The university has now been designated your legal guardian. Placing an individual such as yourself, rich in the blood of the ancients, into the care of the city is common sense. I'm sure you agree. Whatever you say. Well, if that's all, may I leave now? You're taking this very calmly, Toya. Isn't it a shock to so suddenly be torn away from your parents? I was never close enough to them to be torn away. Furthermore, they were always scared of me. Scared of you, huh? <laughs> Is that amusing in some way? No, no. Just that you are an intelligent, skilled individual, rich in ancient power. You are feared by average people and yet have to use your skills to allow those same people to live better lives. Don't you think that it is a little ironic? Ironic? That the excellent are ruled by the average. It's such nonsense. Even if I am a descendant of the ancients, that simply makes me a good enchanter. You want to segregate people based on their enchant abilities? Now that's true nonsense. Ah, but what if... What if the difference was more than mere enchant proficiency? What else is there? The ancients can become magicors. Magicors? You know the term, I see. Those with the blood of the ancients can become devil golem magicors. And if, as a magicor, a person could control a devil golem, they could easily surpass all mortal limits. This isn't like you, Professor. Such speculation is unscientific. Hmm. <laughs> Do you really think so? Atsuma's right arm. You feel it too, don't you? It's power. The perfect example, right at hand, of a human golem combination. Now, if you are interested... Professor? Yes? Maybe it's all this pointless theorizing, but I feel unwell. I must take my leave now. Thank you. Huh. Very well. Well then. Toya! Yes, Professor? If you ever have a change of heart, do let me know. Please, excuse me. Oh, I think you'll have that change of heart. Soon enough. Soon enough. Just to make sure, okay? I don't want to hear that you've changed your mind or anything like that. You have to keep your promise. Are you listening to me, Atsuma? Yeah, I hear you. I'll help the Resistance. That's right. You'll help me out. Yeah, I know. A promise is a promise. You don't sound especially convincing. You're hardly eating anything either. You won't be any good in battle like this. If you stick with us, you may still have a chance. A chance? That's right. According to the ancient records, the fighting between devil golems is what dragged the golem war into the disaster it finally became. In light of that fact, do you think the Queen of Ice is simply going to let the other devil golems be? So what? Use your head! It means that the Queen of Ice may show up in London City! That man who saved us also said, the Emperor of Fire is next. That man? Oh, that mysterious handsome guy. He was quite charming, actually. You think? I couldn't really say myself. But there's something bugging me about him. I can't put my finger on it. Something about him didn't quite fit. Just who was he? From the way he handled himself, I'd say he's a top-level enchanter. He's highly skilled, that much is certain. As you say. Highly skilled? Really? Anyway, forget that handsome fellow. He doesn't appear to be an enemy, unlike that friend of yours. What does that mean? He's been with the Ice Queen the entire time without even trying to get away. I don't know if it's by choice or if he's being controlled, but... What? Can you, you really be so sure? When did I ask you to save me? I... <sighs> well, we never met... What was his name? Takuma? Before anyway, so I guess we can't make a judgment. 
Come on, we can't just stand around here all day speculating. Let's head back to the hideout. They may have some new information. As you say, shall we use the shortcut? I don't really want to, but that's probably the best idea. We have to hurry. The Queen of Ice isn't going to wait for us to be ready for her after all. Shortcut? There's a shortcut through London Castle. It comes out close to our hideout. The castle? We can just walk through there? No problem, no problem. As you say. Don't worry about it. Come on. Ah, my cover body. Ah, that's right, doors up front. Let's see if there's anything new in the shop. I probably should buy items, but nah. Awesome. Awesome. That's so not worth it. That's worth it. Um that's definitely worth it as well. Mega shot expensive mega blow is good and same with mega flare wave higher I mean mega shots pretty good as well but um stuff it we'll just give it uh, add some stuff uh by magic course I'm pretty sure there's new weapons available there's a heap of new cores silver gun core I will buy it even though we haven't got that character yet Cool. Not very good though. Um. Yeah. Can't exactly afford Seraph yet. Ah, uh, Seraphim. Size so weapon. I'm assuming it's still just Smoky Champ. Ah, uh, Silver Cannon. Yeah. I didn't really need it. Um, what else can we do? Miles, just check out the casino to see if there's any new items. I don't quite remember when they restock it. Exchange. Oh, nice guardian. Protection so Yeah, you can see they uh, give you a lot of stats, but you also lose a lot of stats at the same time. Yeah, how about anyway? Smoky champ. <laughs> clown stuff and then Ragar sword I mean it's good but you just have no HP or EP to do anything I mean it'd still technically be worth it um, if I had the HP to offset and EP to offset the the massive strength gain um, we'll see in the skills clown skills ooh I can only afford one mega blow is good um, recover body. Yeah, that's uh, not really amazing. That's probably worth it. IQ dance is worth it. Uh, production Excel. Yeah, I can't learn. I'm gonna just don't have enough thing equipped. Skill. Mega boy. Choose up a lot more. Um. I wonder if I got any support. I don't have another support ability. Yeah. Might be worth teaching Karim the range stuff. Oops. Uh, skills. I don't want to learn, I don't want to equip. Skills. Uh, yeah, that's not really worth equipping support. You don't actually use range so it's not really worth you having range 20% equipped it.
Uh, maybe I should have the parameters of Sabotago. Uh, yeah, I suppose I got all the parameters, honestly. Sabotago. Awesome. Awesome. So the next part of this game, we are more focusing on Karin. So while well, the first section is more like Atsuma and all about him and his feelings, this section is really about Karin and who she is. And then the third section is actually about Raga and his past, which is actually pretty good from a storytelling perspective. I think uh, from software really got the the character arcs down quite well honestly I think Yuki has a little one in between Raga and Karin as well uh yeah unfortunately we've run out of time so I hope you enjoy your day and I'll see you on the next one